So machine this channel for the uh, the bolt to move in and out. But now I need to set the angle so I can machine in here for obviously the bolt to return into here. So I've clocked it up in the mill and uh, oh, unlock that. So I need to come in at an angle there, 50 degrees, which will then allow the bolt to then engage in this slot. So uh, see how we get on. So now we've machined this channel out, that should give the bolt enough to go down. And if we cock this down, that's about where the standard bolt ends, like terminates. So make up a, a custom bolt handle for that and uh, she should be good to go. So obviously we're going to need to um, attach a bolt handle to this. So I've relocated the threading point up near the front here, tapped it out to M8, um, so I can thread my own bolt handle in there. So we'll have a look at making a bolt handle now. Um, probably just use an M8 uh, by 1.25 bolt, if I'm honest. Put some heat on it, bend it into shape, but I might have some square stock here I can sort of turn down uh, to give it a bit more shape. So um, let's have a look. So yeah, um, back on the mill. Turns out that the slot that I've put in here isn't enough to engage the sear fully for the trigger. So I'm probably gonna have to machine this right out to the back, which isn't gonna be an issue because this is a fairly substantial piece of billet. So all the strength's still gonna be there, but I did want it closed off on the back end, but to engage the sear, I am going to have to take it right out. So, here we go. So yeah, machined out the rest of it. I've uh, stuck a, an M8 stud in there now, which I'm probably going to have a look at making the first bolt handle, because I'll probably end up making it again. But that locks in place, slides pretty easy through the action there. So now it's looking at the stock and uh, what I'm obviously going to have to do to uh, to clear the uh, the bolt mechanism. So time to build it back up again. So I've just filed out a little bit here. Um, as you can see, take that off. So just relieve the back there and uh, now the bolt cycles through. So just took a little bit out of there. So what I'll do now is give some heat into this and put a bit of shape into it because I'll probably need to put a, a little slot in here, a little so I can get behind the bolt, but I'll uh, try and make this look sort of like it should be there. So gonna uh, wrap it up for tonight. I've obviously um, put that section in. I've obviously taken more out of this, uh, this bottom section here. As you can see, it's quite heavily scalloped for the, uh, the bolt knob to come into, um, which also gives me more relief here for my trigger finger. Um, I've shaped, as you can see, quite a bit more into where the heel of my thumb will sit, um, which actually fits my hand really nice, which is what it's all about. Um, if I prop it up, we're uh, starting to get somewhere now with the, uh, the shape of this. Also put a little bit of uh, relief in here for when my fingers wrap around the pistol grip and still kept it sort of quite symmetric around there. Um, you'll obviously need some finishing because I've obviously sanded this with 240 now to sort of get get the shape in. But um, yeah, it's, um, it's starting to, to come together now. I'm reasonably happy with uh, with the shape it's taken on and uh, yeah we'll uh, we see how it goes in the next next couple of weeks when I uh, 
start to do a bit more on it but uh yeah the uh the relief in here for my thumb pad is is quite good might take a little bit more out put a bit more angle on the uh on the comb here but um yeah it's starting to come together it's also starting when it's uh when it's going to be oiled it's got a lovely lovely pattern and color in the grain i was going to darken this with some like walnut stain but i'm probably going to keep it as natural as possible with just some heavy heavy linseed oiling um and then probably do this in a sort of semi-gloss hand rub finish i think but um yeah we'll we'll see how it goes